Championship day in girls softball. Norma Seawright paid a visit to Mankato where they crowned four new champions. When you remember that we are two years removed from the last set of state softball champions, you quickly understand why this year at Caswell Park was so much more impactful and exciting. Uh, the energy in the dugout was just amazing. I can't, can't even imagine. This is the first time in our school history we've ever done this. So it was just a big deal for all of Becker. What made this a season to remember wasn't the strikeouts, although there were quite a few of those. This is all we wanted. This was our step three to our season, the perfect season. We usually always have one big breakout inning every game. And when that inning started, I think we all just kind of felt like this is that inning for us and we just can't stop. It wasn't the thrill of trying to break a tie. You know, they've grown up together in a small town of 480 people. They go to school together. You know, the graduating class of like 45 just is a special moment for the community. And believe it or not, it wasn't the Grand Slam. And I knew if they would walk her that I would step up and I would try and make it hurt for them. So I knew that I knew that in that moment I could do it and I could get a hold of one. So and luckily I did and it went out and my teammates were by my side, which was really awesome. The most important part was that there were full crowds to witness Randolph, Becker, Rosemount, and LeSueur Henderson all win state championships. In North Mankato, Norman Seawright, WCCO4 Sports.